So in this video, we're going to create an audit policy to monitor activity in the HR table and apply it to multiple users. So we're going to do this using the audit manager user we created in the last video, the AUD MGR user. So we start by setting the environment variables and then SQL plus in is audit manager. And then we create an audit policy to track update commands issued on the HR table. So we do this with the following create command. And we should get confirmation once we run this command, the audit policy is created. But we can also verify it with this select command. So we'll select various columns and then from the relevant table, we're using the where clause as well. So the where clause uh, narrows it down to this policy name, jobs audit update. And once we run this, we get confirmation. So when we run this, the format is a little messy, but um, you get the idea. Next, we'll um, assign this policy to all users using this audit policy command. So it's audit policy and then the name of the policy we just created. And we should get confirmation that the audit succeeded. So we can view information about this policy, audit policy, by running a select command. First, we'll just set the column format for a policy name and username. So we do that by running these two column format commands and then we'll run a select command next. So we're selecting various columns from the audit unified enabled policies table. So once we run that we we'll get confirmation. Again the screen is a little narrow so the output is a little bit messy. And next we're going to test the audit policy by connecting as a user that has the privileges to update the rows in the HR table. So connect as this user D Hamby. And we can run this command descending to, to list the, the rows in descending order. So next we're going to run the select command to get all the rows where the job title is president. And then we're going to update the president salary and review this in the audit uh, audit feature afterwards. So we can see the output there, the president's max and min salary, and then we run this update command to change the salary to 50,000. And then connect as the audit manager user and view the audit trail records for this change. You'll need to enter the password, and then we'll just run this short command. So it'll prompt you for the password and once we're in there we're going to run a select command but before we do so we're going to format a few columns first so again we're going to run four of these commands to format the audit unified audit policies the action name object the schema and object name columns we're going to use in the next select command so you can see the four commands we run there and next we'll run this select command which selects various columns from the unified audit trail table where the username is the same as the username we used in the previous command to make that change. And remember the username was dhamby, so if we run this command we should see the result in the, uh, the result in table. So if you don't see these rows in the, in the result you need to flush the audit records because the default behavior of the unified audit engine is to queue these audit records and then write them to the unified audit trail as the queue fills. So and there is a procedure we can run that forces the records in the queue to be written to disks. So we're going to run that procedure next. And the audit records are not visible until they're written to this audit trail. So first of all, we're going to run this exec command with the um, DBMS audit management flush unified audit trail command, which is written as follows. And then we run this, we should see confirmation of the output. And then we're going to run the previous command again. And this time we should see the changes we made. So these are the changes we made as the previous user, the Hamby. And remember, we logged out and then we logged back in again as the audit manager user. And this time when we run the command, um, we get the, an updated version. So you can see we see the change made by the previous user. There's a record of it in the audit trail.